The student hit by a laptop sharing his story tonight. A follow-up to the news is this man, the teacher, Mark Verman, is accused of assaulting him and was in court yesterday pleading not guilty to an assault charge. Again, the student now considering legal action against the teacher in school, and he reached out to First News to tell his side of the story. As First News senior reporter Jerry Rattuti tells us, while administrators at the Life Skills High School in Youngstown believe the situation will be resolved, the student, who says he's the victim, is still waiting for an apology. Well, it was at the end of the day. Speaking softly and still bearing scars and bruises from the other day, 18-year-old Rodney Johnson Jr. didn't want us to show his face, but was willing to talk about his ordeal. I'm suspended from school for what defended myself. I just think that's very rude. Johnson sat down last evening with my colleague Julie Bursick, saying he is the victim of Monday's assault at the Life Skills School in Youngstown. 39-year-old teacher Mark Vrooman has been charged in the case. Johnson claims problems with Vrooman started that morning. Me and this teacher already, at the beginning of the day, we already had an incident where he got mad or something like that. But Johnson tells us things escalated that afternoon while he was sitting in class working on a laptop. So he came up to me and snatched a computer on my hand and flung it to the back of the classroom. Johnson says he tried to retrieve the device, but claims Vrooman got to it first. He elbowed me in my chest, and then that's when he lied back up. I said, no, just give me the computer, and that's when he just slung and hit me across my face, the computer. Before it was over, he and Vrooman were on the floor fighting. Yesterday, the teacher left court without talking with us. This morning, officials with White Hat Management in Akron, which runs the school, sent us a one-sentence statement indicating the incident has been thoroughly reviewed and administrators are confident it will be resolved. While police confirm they have had run-ins with Johnson in the past, he still plans to graduate from life skills later this year. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.